Okay, hi, I'm uh, here with Ajinkya Tupule, who's just appeared as an expert speaker at our hearing on blockchain uh, technology and competition policy. Uh, thanks for agreeing to come and say a few words with us. No worries, thank you for having me, Chris. Um, if I start with the questions, um, in what ways do you see blockchain technology uh, changing the way that competition authorities operate, Ajinkya? Right, so I see at least, at least three different ways. Mm. Um, to summarize, the key points would be around data. Okay. So blockchain allows us to collect large amounts of data. The key point here would be that regulators would be able to have better information, better analysis. Mm -hmm. They would be able to reach their decisions and go through internal procedures a lot faster because the data will be available earlier. Finally, we will also find more complex series of harm because a much wider range of data set will be available to, firm, to regulators from firms. Mm. Okay. And um, an interesting additional point there would be that from leniency applications. Okay. Because up until now, as some of us may know, leniency applicants require to go through and jump through many different hoops, collect many different types and sets of data from different corners of the world. Blockchain technology can simplify all of that and will allow firms to really filter through all the data and provide the relevant elements to the regulator to reach a decision faster. And are there any other ways you think that blockchain will uh, affect the way that firms can try to comply with uh, competition rules? Yes, absolutely. Now, given that the data will be generated by the firms themselves, mm. and they will be hopefully be on blockchain technology, it will allow these firms to respond to RFIs a lot faster mm. with the more relevant information. They will also be able to take into account any commitments or undertakings that have been given by the headquarters or by uh, the affiliates mm -hmm. and ensure that all the products that are sold by a company within the relevant jurisdiction are compliant with such commitments and undertakings. Okay. Um, of course, um, there are follow-on effects, if I may call them that, on private enforcement actions. Okay. Now, assuming the blockchain technology is all prevalent, we will find that regulators that are using more complex series of harm mm -hmm. will require private actions mm -hmm. to tie those complex series of harm to the damages suffered by those entities. This may require litigants to have a much stronger case to show that the evidence exists which links this complex series of harm to the damages, economic damages suffered by the firm. Okay, interesting. Okay. Well, thank you very much right. for your time. Thank, thank you. you.